I don't suppose I can trouble you to untie me now that I'm incarcerated. A wise decision. You wouldn't want to upset the Witchfinder. I'm sure he's paying you handsomely to assist him. If it's coin you're after, I can offer more than him. It's not like that. Don't be coy with me. For the right price, people will do anything. What's yours? You have nothing that I want. Don't I? Ask yourself this. Do you think that a man of my position would spend his nights digging up graves? You had a room full of corpses. Perhaps. But who said I was working alone? Wouldn't it make sense that I would hire someone to do it for me? Someone desperate for a bit of coin? Someone in my employ with a husband and a daughter to feed? My mother would never do such a thing. She's capable of more than you can imagine. I'll prove it to you if you untie me. You won't even have to open the cell. That's better. Now tell me, does this look familiar? I've completed my mission. What of you? Is that the final charm? Are you ready to reveal the witch's identity? The curse is getting stronger, and it seems like now Mr. Schult is afflicted by it too. The curse still binds my tongue and prevents me from revealing the identity of the witch, but it compels Mr. Schult to spout lies and nonsense. Nothing he says can be trusted. She's lying! She's only saying that because her mother's the one who made this whole operation possible. If you condemn me, you'll have to do so as well to Joanna. This is awful. I, I never expected the curse to afflict Mr. Schult. He's even feverish. We probably shouldn't get too close to him. Interesting that the curse isn't being passed on to me. Your amulets and hollowed position must be shielding you. But... We have to act quickly. If we don't get Mr. Schultz to the mental asylum, there won't be any hope for his salvation. I will go to the physician and see if he can break the curse, or at least help prevent it from afflicting anyone else who interacts with me. Then you and I can reunite at the Juniper Tree and I'll be able to tell you who the witch is. All right. I've already sent the physician to Mr. Schultz's house. You should head there, then. Back inside that room. There should be one in particular of interest to you. My heavens! You startled me! Look away. Still here. It's okay, Marlene. My heavens, are, are you okay? I'm so sorry you had to see that. I I'm fine. I'm okay. There you go. Stay strong. Reunited. Soon. The Witchfinder knew to warn me about Finn. He knows what Finn looks like, and more importantly, that he's dead. Should the Witchfinder see Finn walk amongst the living? Is everything okay, my dear? Yes, but I might need to ask you for help. Well, how can I help you, my dear? So, I was recently made a Witchfinder in training. Oh! Yes, the Witchfinder recently deputized me. Problem being, even with the title, I'm still cursed. I know of a witch running free and unrestrained in Vegefer, 
but I can't yet reveal the identity of the witch. My heavens, a, a curse, you say? That is a problem. I thought you seemed off. In fact, I was sure of it. Yes, of course I will help you. We can do the examination at your house. No, I mean, I really can't talk about the curse with anyone else. The Witchfinder and now you are the only two people who know about it. Wouldn't want to alarm my mother, poor thing. Father's already in poor enough health as it is. Hmm. Well then, how can I help you? It's complicated, but I have to rebury Finn at the juniper tree. Again, I can't say why because of the curse, but if we lay Finn to rest there again, I will be able to reveal the identity of the witch. You certainly are in a complicated position, my dear, but if I am the only one who can help, so be it. Thank you. I didn't know who else to turn to. Marlene, good news. Mr. Schulte won't be causing anyone trouble anymore. I've just seen him off to the mental asylum for good. So, I see we found the witch. Found the witch? Where, Marlene? What is going on? Name him so I may enact justice. What? What are you talking about? What is he talking about? Like I told you, I couldn't reveal the identity of the witch until we were at the juniper tree. As you can see, it's pretty obvious what's happening. He's fallen victim to madness, brought about by dabbling in the dark arts. I think he's beyond help at this point. I mean, he thinks he can compel you into believing you're the true witch instead of him. That is a bold-faced lie. How could I be the witch? My entire life is built around being a witch finder. There's only one way to prove your innocence. Bury these here, and if nothing happens, it will prove you're not a witch. So, what's next? The Witchfinder, or I guess the previous one, didn't exactly use the most even hand when it came to seeing justice done in our town, so I figured I should go back and undo as much damage as I can. Now that it's up to me, what should happen to Joanna? I mean, should we... should I? No. This... Her living with the fear of comeuppance for what she did to me, to us, is an infinitely more fitting punishment. And if she does get out of line, she'll be in good company at the mental asylum. You know I wouldn't let anyone hurt you, right? No more murders on my watch. Same to you. Now let's get to work. <laughs> 